I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh. You don't mind me smoking, do you? No. It's not even real, so you won't die. <laughs> Wait, what? Your cigarette's not real? No. Um, it gives me the nicotine I need. I'm trying to quit. But it's just water vapor instead of smoke. So. Oh. That's kind of disappointing. Would you rather I smoke for real? No, um, it's just, I think most women find it kind of sexy when a man does whatever he wants. My name's Elise. Well, I'm doing whatever I want, so I guess I'm sexy. My name is Frank. <laughs> well, I thought you were sexy, but that's a really bad name, Frank. <laughs> the only one I got. Well, we could always find you another. Yeah. We could. So what are you, British or? I am. Yeah, go figure, huh? And you are not Canadian. American. Mm-hmm. I had an inkling. Yeah. So, what are you doing in Venice? Well, I can see you're deeply engrossed in a spy novel. So, let's play a game. If you're Jason Bourne, and I was a mysterious woman in a red dress on a train. What do you think my story would be? I was Jason. Mm-hmm. He's my favorite American. Mm -hmm. You are a diplomatic attaché. Hmm. No, you're not. Jason Bourne is now in the 80s. You are an East German girl. And your father's been kidnapped. And the kidnappers are blackmailing you into stealing like a microfilm or yeah, a microfilm because they always put microfilms into these stories. And it's also the eighties, so Yeah. <laughs> Works out, doesn't it? What do you think awaits me? You'll get into a lot of trouble. Do you think I'll get in danger? Let's put it this way, if you don't get shot at in the next two chapters, it's going to be very disappointing. <laughs> Do I meet men? Have to wait and see. Frank asked me to dinner. Like, like a date? Like two people eating food. Would you like to go to dinner? No, because women don't like questions. Let's go to dinner. That's pretty demanding. Let's go to dinner. And you're asking me again? Okay. I'm going to dinner in Venice tonight when the train stops. Care to join? Yeah.